Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Vault Hunters, and today we are going to be doing quite a few things. And that zombie just dropped a iron sword. I have put doors on these actual like little areas. As you can see, they are stone frame doors, or they're frame doors with stone blocks in them. The only thing is when you do it it has this glass bit in the middle i wanted it to be like a birch door where it's completely solid so it's like hidden so you didn't know it was there unless obviously you knew and it's the same here i wanted it once again here so i could still enter that but it weren't visible that there was an entrance there and i also did put ladders here once again they're frame ladders with stone in them and then obviously that kind of blends it in this top one i could have had it stone but I actually decided to put it as this oh, overgrown stone, which is a mod, I think, Odor Bimes You Go. But when you actually put a block in the frame blocks, it puts the top texture, not the sides. So as you can see, it just goes all like that. I would have preferred it to be the side texture, but there's nothing we can do. Uh, it still looks okay, and it still blends in quite well. I did also run some vaults off camera just to get some loot. I'm not going to show anything because once again it was the same thing. Here are the boss crates. I'll go through all them in a second. But I quickly just want to roll all these idols. So now all these are rolled. There's a level 2. A withering cloud with 2 levels. Level 2. 2 levels. Plus 4 attack damage with 2 levels. That's pretty good. 4 cooldown reduction with 2 levels. And just 2 levels. So the best one there is probably that. But we have that with plus 3 health. And I did also put unbreaking on this. Because obviously that would make it break slower. So all of them can go in there. Because they're not as good as the one we have. Let's now look. So in this boss crate we have some vault dust. Vault bronze. And a helmet. That's really the only good things in there. I guess nautilus shells are good. I'm also putting all my burger resources in here. So obviously I can craft burgers. As you can see I've got just over a stack. So that can now be broken. Next one we have two swords, leggings, boots. And then once again just some random bits. These are also two. One for execute and one for dash. That's actually not too bad. The next boss crate as you can see we have some leggings, a axe. And then once again some basics. Also two relics. Let's quickly just confirm them two. I think I have both of them so they're pretty useless. What is this? star essence we can put that in there and final boss crate as you can see a helmet sword leggings and once again quite a lot i mean china golden apple i don't actually know if that's going to be useful i guess they still work how they're how they would in vanilla so that could actually be quite useful maybe if we get quite low in a vault or something we have also got three skill points to spend which we'll spend them in a second so leggings that are a five okay same but that has no level so they pointless four that's better than our actual helmet but it has no levels so i would say that's not better than our helmet four with a level and plus one armor that's better i think is that better than the ones on here uh that is okay so let's throw them in there and they're gonna be the new boots we run so axe 11 with one level what axe are we currently using we're using this one which is 11.4 so actually that's quite pointless three uh that one's better but that has no levels what does this actual helmet have this is one level and a three so okay that's still good that's not better i don't like using swords or that has so bound on it so bound basically means when you die it stays on you that i don't like using swords free and that's kind of pointless so all this vault gear is not really that useful to us so what we're going to do today to begin actually no before we do that we are going to quickly go and head over here because as you can see there's quite a lot of vault ores i got from the vaults so let's now vein mine all of these so that's that 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 i think if we just do this it should work as vein mining them i think okay that's actually really good we got 16 of them. We got quite a lot of them. It's echo shards that we need. I don't know how you find them. I think they're like really rare. A unique gem, a legendary gem. Okay. So we also want them and them and also them. Now let's craft these into actual knowledge stars. 
That is two knowledge stars that we can actually use right there. And one more thing. I really wanted to get this blank key because that would save us a lot of actual echo shards and quite a lot of resources. But we don't have enough. If I couldn't remember correctly, we have like a thousand. Yeah, 1057. And you need 2400. I think the first thing I'm going to do is strength. Definitely, I think strength is a good thing to go for. Yeah, having that, I think, would be good. So let's just upgrade that. We can always, obviously, unchange it at a later date. So we could go for, I think, chef and also dummies, fairy lights, or more lights. Uh, unlocks a simply light mod. I think that one's probably the best. The dummies and fairy lights, I don't think is going to be that useful. So that now makes it so that's free. So buying both of these with two more knowledge stars will make that go down to one. So in theory, we need either three more or three more. The next thing we actually want to do is I've been crafting up some crystals and we have one crystal right there, which I want to run this actual seal of the challenger. If we do this within five, if we kill the boss within five minutes, we actually get a extra loot crate on, I think, Sunday, which is a few days away. So we're going to run this and hopefully we can do it within actual five minutes. Now, I think that's everything we should need. So let's do the actual helmet first. So we want respiration on that, but we do also want to put protection on it first. So that will cancel out the actual respiration. So, or the actual fire protection. So that should now be, yeah, protection unbreaking and aqua, no, respiration. So we need aqua infinity on that. And that will then be a good helmet. This, we just want protection and unbreaking. We could also have thorns, but I don't think that's like something we need. So I'm now going to get ready to run the vault, sort this shulker box out, add everything we need into it. A lot of the actual candy bars so we can move quicker. I might even make some extra potions and then we should be ready to run the vault. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. So you have now seen us actually run the vault and we did manage to actually do it in time. As you can see, we have the boss crate and we also have the white shocker box, which actually has the loot inside that you get for actually beating it within five minutes or being the fastest if you're playing on actual multiplayer. So the boss crate, as you can see, it's there's two leggings, a pair of boots and then everything else in here is just average. It's not like anything that good. So actually there's a statue right there that gives us dirt. That's actually not too bad. And now let's see what we actually got. We got level three, they're worse, they're worse. Level two with, or level three. Okay, they're worse. And we did also kill a boss. So that means our armor did level up. On that we got plus five cooldown reduction. We got plus two parry. And we got, I think, plus one armor, I believe. So with the boss crate being emptied, we can now jump to the actual thing that is going to have the decent loot in it. As this shock box right here is guaranteed to actually have a artifact in it. So let's quickly open it. And as you can see, there is an unidentified artifact right there. And there is also a helmet, a boots and an axe. Once again, quite a few random little bits that we will go through. Oh, wow. That's not that good of a actual crystal, I don't think. So let's quickly just roll these first. And let's also uh, identify that relic. It's a cupcake. I don't think I have that cupcake yet. Let's actually uh, throw all this back in there. 
and then everything else is once again just a random apart from the trophy we will put that trophy somewhere afterwards so the axe is 10.7 which is worse the actual boots are three with one level which is worse and the helmet is free with one level and knockback which is worse i think i'm yeah it's worse let's maybe put the trophy on top of this might be cool can i put it there we can okay so that's gonna stay there and as you can see it obviously has the date and we beat it in three minutes and 32 seconds which is pretty good and we now also do have an artifact which this artifact is going to be new no matter what because we haven't actually got one yet so let's roll that and we have gotten this one which i don't actually know where we're going to put the artifacts i haven't got a set area for them yet for now we're just going to put them here now let's look at this actual crystal because this i think is like really hard i think we're going to leave this for later on as you can see, it has Frenzy, which mobs deal three times damage, plus 10 movement speed, and I only have one health. Okay, so that means that we would one hit everything, but they would do way more damage. It has Impossible twice, which is plus 10 mob spawnings. I'm pretty sure they combined, so that's plus 20 mob spawning. Safe zone, no chest will be trapped. Super lucky is a plus three luck level and it's also locked. So once we're in the vault, we have to kill the boss or die to leave. Obviously dying would make us lose all our stuff. And then it's also crystals cannot be modified. Okay. So yeah, that's not really something I want to run yet. So I'm debating whether to get the pog or the diamond block vault diamond block i think the pog is way rarer to actually get because obviously it requires one of all of these and at the moment we can only craft one of them because we don't obviously have any more bob ignite or fun side so if i actually get my thingy out which it's in here we have 1000 which i believe we can actually buy this yeah we can and then that would leave us with i think almost enough to buy the block as well although i think you can only make one trade per every time it rotates but we're gonna buy that and can we buy that as well how many do we have we have 331 so we need almost 100 i think i don't know if we can buy that as well i might try we do have a crystal there that we can use well this is actually the worst actual vault to have because we've got gilded which is good we got difficult we got crowded and we got minus 30 durability the crowded is good because that means more mobs but the difficult isn't good because obviously that means mobs have more health and they attack more so i guess we're just gonna kill as many mobs as we possibly can inside of this vault i have made two big mistakes first thing i didn't actually bring any chests or boxes to store items that i got so i couldn't actually loot and we did get gilded which would have meant loot would have been that little bit better and as you can see i'm hitting these mobs with my pickaxe that is because my axe or my weapon did actually break and i don't have any other source of weapon as the one that i used to store in my shulker box i took it out so we are now just beating them up with my pickaxe but i'm pretty sure we have enough soul shards that was a bit of a waste of a vault uh i went in not prepared i only really went in for mobs but once we got gilded i thought that we could have obviously fought some so what we're gonna do now is we're obviously gonna throw all of this inside of there i am now gonna have to make a new axe because obviously our axe did die so let's quickly just roll these and now let's see yes okay there we go we've bought it with four remaining so we had a extra four so i could right now craft a vault diamond instead and not craft this paxel but i think the paxel is going to be that little bit better just because it acts as a pickaxe a shovel and a axe so obviously that would mean that we get is that how you craft it or is it that okay it's that so yeah this acts as a pickaxe an axe and a shovel which means that we can actually ditch this pickaxe and use this instead. Although this, I don't think, yeah, cannot be enchanted with mending. So we can still put silk touch and all that on it. 
we just can't put mending which is fine so with that being said this video has been a lot longer than i actually thought it would be we got quite a lot done including we got our first artifact off camera i'm gonna obviously get my axe back or get a axe uh, there's the artifact and i'm also going to enchant this pack so we'd also get full vault gear and we become the champion for last week so one last thing that i do quickly just want to do what axes do we have in here okay we don't actually have that many 11 with one level 11.1 .1 with one level and 10 okay that's the best one right there so let's quickly just request that and i'll obviously upgrade that but anyway if you did enjoy leave a like and subscribe and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.